here. Uh, Gita Taha nei o tō tātou nei tūpuna tūkō. So uh, Pete has started talking. What, what we're doing now is we're travelling through the 20 square mile reserve that was promised uh, along uh, with the 100 pounds. Uh, of course we never got it uh, and our, our 20 square mile reserve it got uh, renamed the Chater Estate. And uh, so the other day when Pete, uh, when he was giving his presentation at the Millennium Gallery and he talked about Article 3, uh, uh, the same rights and privileges as other British subjects, and he said to the people there, uh, that's quite often forgotten. I was able to go, no, I haven't forgotten. Chater Estate's supposed to be the Rangitani Estate. Uh, but however, you have to move on, you know, and so we don't hold any grievances against the Chaters. Um, this was just shitty old paddock that many of you will remember just used to be sort of scrubby cattle lamb fattening and then um, Joe Slick, um, he got involved, oh sorry, Joseph Stafford, um, he built uh, Fuddy there and um, a bit of uh, fame for a while and they wanted to develop this area here into this housing estate and uh, the council had this rule that when you were doing this new development you had to reserve so much um, uh, of the land for a reserve that would be vested in the council. And the people that were doing that were really pissed off because the council weren't providing uh, any uh, services or facilities. So they came to see the, the, uh, the Rangitani Taliban, as it was at that stage, and uh, we thought, well, if we could uh, get our name on the land inside the 20 square mile reserve without actually having to have a treaty settlement, and we had some parkyards supporting it, well, that's got to be a good trick. So um, Judith, uh, she was the Runanga manager then and Chop was in charge of the cultural portfolio, such as it was. So they met out here with the developers and uh, they agreed to, um, to, to develop this area here into a wetland because it would enhance their property. And uh, they could also have this new type of um, sewage system that would trickle through pea gravel and it would maintain the wetland as well. And we thought that was quite a good idea and Judith put to them, after talking with Chop, that we should call it, after another one of those, Tupuna Kuea, the wife of Tu Kawai, and get our name back on the land, hence Hinipango. And not many people know that that's here, simply because, well, we had a bit of a laugh about that and then we forgot that it was here. So that's why it's a good opportunity as we drive past to a piece of settlement land just to remind everybody that these people understand that Hinipango is the name of a Rangitani Kuya. And we don't have to get into the, the vagaries of Whakapapa other than to say, oh yep, that, that's cool. Um, it's not a, um, a Ngāti Rārua one or a Ngaitahu one, it uh, relates to us. And as Pete's Whakapapa shows, well if you're Rangitani or Ngāti Kuya, and because of the tuku you're Ngāti Kuata, so at any stage, if our trustees try to sell this land, you have a responsibility, being a part of the whakapapa of the tuku, to raise that with someone. Say, hold on a minute. <laughs> so that's why you came, not just for the free lunch. Um, so I thought the other thing we might do is uh, so that this, uh, this particular visit doesn't die, the photographic opportunity of all the descendants of Hinepango um, standing... Um, by the sign, and we actually reanimate or restore the modi of us with her. Kapai? Kapai. Pete? Hey, Hippolytes, get in here. Hippolytes. <laughs> 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 you're on the truck, you have to get in the photo. Come on, it's all right. Wadi Wadi, the, the bulrush puller. So there's a, went to, this afternoon when we we're coming back towards Tuamarino, we'll see a, a low saddle that connects this valley into the valley that goes into the Putter Swamp. And so that swamp there used to be a very important uh, uh, resource in terms of uh, Mahinga Kai, Harakeke, Raupo and those kinds of things. So um, that that low ridge is called Te Whiringa or Tu Kowai, and we'll get a really good, uh, really good uh, 
side of that when we come back this afternoon. Yeah. Mm.